You can't control players when they're hanging out, having drinks, hanging out, having dinner, on the red carpet somewhere, doing a promotional event together, hanging out with their agency. There's no way when players get together socially, you can prevent them from talking. There's no way you can prevent them from texting one another. There's no way you can prevent LeBron James from texting AD, yo, bro, we want you in L.A. There's no way you can prevent them from calling one another. There's just no way. What, are you going to wiretap their phones? So players talking to players is going to have to always be allowed and legal. Executives of the NBA talking to players that are not members of their team, you can police that. But how much do you really need to police? I mean, to me, it's just about establishing clear set windows. Okay, and the clear set window is, let's say free agency begins July the 1st. For one week before free agency, allow NBA executives to talk to potential free agents. Allow that week window to be where negotiations, quote-unquote, happen, even if they're happening during the season, even if Sean Marks is reaching out to Kyrie Irving in February, even if Jerry West is talking to Kawhi Leonard in March, even if there's all this contact happening beforehand. You'd like that not to happen, but ultimately, I don't know if it even makes sense to have to go too hard on that. Since everybody's negotiating with everybody all the time, just make sure the week window before free agency begins is a quote-unquote legal tampering period. The NFL did it. And once the NFL did it, all the worries about tampering went away. And it's almost just nominal. If everybody's going to do it, just make sure it's clear-cut for everybody, okay? So that one week before free agency, okay, you can talk to free agents. Everybody can. Open season now. and But you can't sign anybody. No signings can happen up until, and no agreements can be announced up until the start of free agency. And there you go. The only thing I would change about that is calling it legal tampering. It's an oxymoron. Tampering is illegal by nature. So let's just not make it legal tampering. Call it a negotiation window. I don't understand why the NFL can't just change that. Negotiation week. Negotiation window. Feast week. Call it whatever you want. But legal tampering is a stupid name, but it makes dopes understand it. But it's an easy fix. As long as the NBA does that, then they're covering their you-know-whats.